And yet another update, my fine YouTube folks. Long story short, I had this working, but, and, you know, hindsight is 2020. Should have thought about it, but this blade is flexible. And when it gets whizzed up, it changes its pitch. It's aluminum, non-magnetic. I thought, what a better piece of geometry to use. But as it sped up, it changed the, um, the distance between my homemade magnetic switch and things started to go awry. So I fell back to an old design. I kind of jerry-rigged it just to try it and see if it would work. This is the switch that I made, if you call it a switch. This I cut out on the CNC machine, but you know, you would think the CNC machine to be perfect, round and center hole, but it's, it's off. However, it does work. So I've got it hooked up to my power supply. And you can see the sparks on my switch. And I know I said that I was going to put some solder on there to make a better connection, but I actually did not. And again, this is just jury rigged. I haven't set the timing. I just wanted to see if that switch was going to work. And it obviously does. Right now I'm running off the power supply 12 volts point and it switches obviously quite a bit because of the, uh, the switch action. But it's between zero and like three and a half amps. I'm sorry, milliamps. About I'm watching the power supply. It's the maximum is 3.67 watts. So I think with a little bit of finesse and getting the timing squared away, I think this will work pretty well. But I just wanted to do a quick update video. I'm one of you guys out there made a comment about the rabbit hole and welcome to the club and dude I appreciate that it's it's definitely addictive a rabbit hole and a club so we're going to keep working on this project and there will be future updates probably in the near future because I'm addicted so I just wanted to show let me turn this off so I just wanted to show that this Bedini motor actually, and, and it's no surprise, it actually does work. But my intent is to make a larger coil so that I have a lot more magnetism and possibly put two magnets on this wheel and see if I can. I don't have an RPM meter, but it spins pretty, pretty slow. And we're going to try to increase that and maybe make a, a wheel out of an aluminum plate. I'm not sure yet. The possibilities are endless. So we're definitely going to work on this and, you know, try to evolve it into something actually useful. Free energy. That's the goal. Thermo, thermal? Thermal dynamics. Yeah, that sucks. I don't say that word often enough to pronounce it correctly. But yeah, thermal dynamics. And everyday science is getting different things from space and fusion. Anyway, things may change, and I hope they do. And we'll talk soon, guys. And just a heads up, today is um, February 7th, 2024. It's almost 6 p.m. Got home from work a few hours ago. And yeah, just want to keep sharing what I'm doing in case anyone is interested. 
And quite honestly, if you are, I really truly would appreciate a subscription and a like because that promotes the video so that others can find it or see it. It'll show up in their feed. And I get it. My videos suck. I'm a one-man pony. I don't have a production crew and I've got you know a five-year-old camera but I'm hoping to upgrade and do some updates but yeah if you guys would like subscribe and you don't have to turn the bell on you don't have to be annoyed by me but I appreciate each and every one of my subscribers and guys thank you very much and y'all have a good night and we'll talk soon take care